Alright, so what is going on guys? So today I'm bringing another Pokemon X my Wi-Fi battle, but I know I didn't upload like at all this weekend, but it's because I was away at a show choir competition and uh, it was it was a lot of fun. But you know, I, I just I can't upload whenever I'm away at hotels. Like the Wi-Fi sucks, it takes three hours to upload, and the quality is absolutely terrible because I have people yelling in the background the entire time. So as you can see, I'm bringing like a mixed tier team ish not really i have all ou except for mega agron and uh shedinja honestly i just wanted to bring shedinja for shiggles and um my opponent is basically bringing ou that's it like uh, like the basic ou team and it kind of scared me at first but then like afterwards i was kind of like yeah that was nothing really sort of bad. so he's gonna start off with his thumper i know he is because he always starts off with damn steelix to get up stealth rocks and all this other stuff because that's what this guy likes to do. I battled him so many times. Actually, I'm trying to. There we go. That that sounds a little bit better. And uh, yeah, so I I don't understand why he has a quick claw on it. To be 100% honest, but I just go for a superpower, hoping that this huge power superpower would knock out the thumpa, but it doesn't. And that that kind of upset me in the beginning. I was like, um, what? I knew he was like powerful, but not that powerful. Or, uh, that bulky, but not that bulky. So, I go for a second superpower. I know that'll knock him out. I'm only minus one. And Azumarill is already, like, bringing in work. Um, so he sends in his Dragonite. Now, Dragonite, let me tell you something about my boy Dragonite. I know the normal set for Dragonite, and I know that this man doesn't run it. He runs, like, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, Dragon Claw, and Dragon Dance, I believe. But, either way, I was like, my Conkeldur can just eat up any three to four hits like it's just how bulky he is now here i believe he didn't really know if i had ice punch or not so he goes into talon flame and i go for the mock punch i don't know why i went for the mock punch i think i did it just to break the scale so an ice punch would knock him out but whenever i see i'm like gale wings brave bird no fun at all i need to get out of there i need to go into my tank i need to tank up some hits and that's where the porygon 2 came in and at this time the entire time i'm thinking Stealth Rocks are going to kill my Shedinja, and I'm just, and I'm screwed, like, there's nothing I can do. So, I need to figure out a way to get in my, um, crap, um, Mandibuzz, so I can defog away those rocks. And right now, I have no chance of doing it. I have to get out, like, I have to get his Tyranitar out before I can do that. So, I Thunder Wave his Tyranitar, and that was kind of a good move, but kind of a bad move at the exact same time, just because it... It didn't really do much, like, because he's already slow. Like, it was kind of just a waste of a move. So I go for the Ice Beam the next turn, hoping it would do a little bit more, but it didn't. And here he goes for a Dragon Dance, and I'm kind of getting scared because Tyranitar with a Dragon Dance is scary. Like, a Crunch, a uh, an Earthquake, or a Rock Slide, or a Stone Edge, they could all just do so much. So I'm kind of, I was kind of freaking out a little bit. So he goes for the Ice Beam, or he goes... I go for the Ice Beam, another time to get him below half, and he gets the Peral, Peral, I, you know, speaking English is really like my fourth language, and it's not very fun, but I get the Paralysis Hacks, and that's good, because I'm thinking that it can buy me some time, so I can, like, <clears throat> so I can get, like, his HP down while still waiting to recover, and I get the Paralysis Hacks again. Now, what I didn't really see is why he was running leftovers on this thing, because I've never seen a leftovers Tyranitar before. I don't, I've just never really seen it. That's just me, personally. But I go for another Ice Beam, and I'm like, um, that may be a mistake, because I'm pretty sure a Crunch can knock me off from that range. And he goes for a Crunch, just like I thought, and, um, uh, yeah. I live with, like, 3 HP, just as the Sandstorm subsides. And that's where I'm like, do I want... So take the chance of having an Ice Beam miss, or should I just recover? And I always play it safe in battles, ladies and gentlemen. I always play it safe. So I went for a recover right away as he goes for a second crunch. And that, that brings him to, I think, like 25. I think, like, 25 HP. 20. I was close. I was very close. I'm really proud of myself for remembering that. And uh, here, I don't... <sighs> I don't know, I kind of wanted to go for another recover, but I didn't want him to gain up enough to where an Ice Beam wouldn't take him out, so I kind of just sucked him off. So we go for the Ice Beam, take out the uh, Tyranitar, and right here, I know for a fact that Greninja is going to outspeed me and kill me, and I'm okay with that, I'm really okay with that, but he goes for an Ice Beam, and I was like, um, you know my team, right? You know I have a Conkeldor with Mach Punch, right? It's just, it's, it's silliness, it's the silliness, ladies and gentlemen. So I go into my Conkeldor, and here... 
I started to realize what I was doing. Because I realized that I'm switching in and out and he has stealth rocks up, so I wanted to get this thing out of the way so I could bring in my, um... Oh, wait, he has Rocky Helmet on a Greninja. I don't know why. He was running some really, 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 really weird items that I don't really understand. And he goes for Protect on a turn that it doesn't matter because he's just going to die next turn to a Mach Punch because now he's a normal type. Like, it just, it, it, it was making no sense to me whatsoever. So I just go for another Mach Punch and finish off the Greninja. Now, I'm... I'm so close to dying, like, what am I supposed to do? I don't, I don't know if I have anything that could take a hit, because now he has, like, Talonflame, and Talonflame obviously is going to have Gale Wings with an Acrobatics, which I think is really, I, I like Acrobatics instead of Brave Bird, personally, because you don't take Recoil, and with no item, this is like 130 base damage, it's pretty good. So I go into my Mandibuzz, knowing that I can take any one hit, defog away the rocks, and then I'll be good to go. So he goes for a Brave Bird, and... To be 110% honest, I forgot about the new Brave Bird. I completely forgot that it was even a thing, so I just, I, I don't know. But at least I have the Rocky Helmet, and I have the Recoil, and I get the Defog off, and now I can bring in my Shedinja. And towards the end of the battle, I just kind of wanted to take something out with it, because it's kind of fun. Because I like Shedinja, and a weird Pokemon like that. Goes for another Brave Bird, and that's obviously going to knock me out. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that I'll be, like, taken out by this thing. Yep, so, yep, Rocky Helmet. Recoil, you're almost dead. Foul play. And I, I'm, I'm honestly really surprised that that didn't take me out. But hey, sometimes it's whatever you got to do, you got to do. So, my, man, my Mandibuzz has got a kill. I'm just now realizing this. I didn't even realize it back then. But hey, Aqua Jet, that's always fun because now my Mandibuzz is down and out. But you know what? Rocky Helmet's always fun. I like Rocky Helmet. It's a fun move. It's a fun move. Fun item. Yep, fun item. So I go to my Agron. Now... I know if I Mega Evolve, I'm losing my Rock Typing, so I'm actually not weak to Water anymore, so Aqua Jet won't do too, too much for me. So, obviously, I love Mega Agron. It looks like a freaking monster. He goes for the Aqua Jet, and that's not going to do a whole, whole lot to Mega Agron. I go for a Rock Polish. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not doing the typical lead with Agron Thunder Wave bull crap. So I go for the Heavy Slam, and that almost took him out. It almost took him out, but of course he has a Citrus Berry. Why wouldn't he have a Citrus Berry? So, I'm just going to Heavy Slam next turn anyway. He goes for a Play Rough. Um, I think he thought that I, would, I was just going to knock him out. I really think that, and he was just kind of like expecting me to knock him out. I don't, I don't know. Go for a second Heavy Slam, that takes out his Azumarill. So now, I believe he has like two Pokemon left. I think, maybe. Goes into his Dragonite, who... Has a Fire Punch. I know he does, but I think a Heavy Slam could do an okay amount of damage, but it doesn't because of that stupid multi-scale. <clears throat> goes for the Fire Punch, and I'm so glad I tanked that. I guess Filter, like, really came in handy right there because Filter is a monster. And I'm just going to keep on spamming Heavy Slam because that's, like, my strongest move that I have right now. Go for a second Fire Punch, and that's not going to knock me out either, boo-boo. I'm going to go for one more Heavy Slam to take this thing out as much as I possibly can. And look at that. It is so close to dying. He goes for another Fire Punch and knocks out my Aggron. Just kidding. No, he doesn't. But he gets the burn. That's what it was. <laughs> he gets the burn and that knocks out my Aggron. So right now, I believe... I believe I... <sighs> okay. So I send in my Shedinja just for shiggles. I think it's my last Pokemon, actually. I really do. I send him my Shedinja, and I go for a Shadow Sneak to finish off the game with a Shedinja knocking out a Dragonite. Like, that's honestly the best thing in the entire world. I love that, that that happened. But I ended up beating my friend, and it was a lot of fun. I'm trying to think what... Yeah, no. Yeah, that was my last Pokemon. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. And as you could also see, I did change my name. Now, that is because I'm approaching 75 subscribers, and, um... I will be doing a giveaway for that, so, um, starting on my next video, leave a comment, you'll be entered in for the drawing for the, uh, the giveaway, um, it'll be a shiny something, I don't know, sorry, shiny looks like something, so, you can, you could take your pick, um, also, actually, no, I'll save that for another video, yep, so make sure you guys leave a like and a comment on this video, and I will see you guys later on tomorrow, have an absolutely fantastic day, bye!